Hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center. And today we're going to discuss about the topic LMT and MAE based commissioning mode, part 7. So, over here we're going to look through the procedures for LMT plus MAE based commissioning. So, in this scenario, we are using two types of tools LMT plus MAE. So, let's look at the preparations. So, when we start, it is between the remote engineer and local engineer. The task will be divided accordingly. So, remote engineers, they will have to prepare a software package, data configuration file and deployment list. They also need to prepare the commissioning license. So, this remote engineers will be using the MEE platform and the local engineers will be using the LMT platform. After that, they, the remote engineer need to check the transport network. They also have to set the environmental related alarm parameters. They have to create the commissioning task using the auto deployment under the SON. So all these are part of the MEE access platform. So on the other hand, the local engineer will prepare the device panel draw. It's regarding the whole design of the base station and the bots, etc. And they will also have to prepare the dialing test tools because once the commissioning has been completed, they, do, they have to do a service test. They also have to perform the hardware installation and power on checks and back to the remote engineer. Once the, lo the local engineer have done the confirmation, they can start the any commissioning task. So that means it shows that the environment is ready to do commissioning. Procedures for LMT and ME based commissioning. So this also happens between remote engineers and local engineers. It's a continuation from what we have discussed earlier. So after you start the commissioning task, the remote engineer will have to monitor the any commissioning task. And at the same time, the local engineer will log into the LMT and disable the DHCP switch so that there is no interruption between the transport during the commissioning. They will have to configure the FTP server and they have to load the software, data configuration file. And so consider that this is being done at the site level. So this is on site already. So the engineer will load the software, data configuration file and commissioning license on the LMT. After that, the remote engineer will test the installation and the deployment quality using the MAE platform. So he will handle the alarm once the overall process is completed and will also perform the any health check. So it will acquire a commissioning verification record to ensure the commissioning is successful without any problem. And once it also need to ensure, engineer need to ensure that the auto deployment task is completed. And upon doing that, there is a maximum output power settings for the RF modules so that the services are not impacted. So once the local engineers, once the commissioning process has been completed, and once the remote engineers already done all the verification process as written here, together with the setting of the RF module and also the auto deployment task is completed, the local engineer need to do the service test. They have to test all the services that is related to the commissioning. Then once they have confirmed that the services are normal, there is no interruption, they have to confirm with the remote engineer. So upon doing that, the remote engineer will start the any mode to normal. So this is actually related to the maintenance mode. So let's look into how to prepare LMT and MAE based commissioning. So preparing for the commissioning. So first, Software package, data configuration, files and deployment list. Upload the license. Obtain the drawing. Check the transport network. Set the environmental alarm parameters. Prepare the dialing test tools. Create the commissioning task. Start the commissioning task. 
So how to connect the LMT PC to the E node B? So this one has to be done on site. So when you are at the site, there will be a USB adapter port that will be connected directly to your laptop or PC. So from there, you will use, so you need a UMPT card, you need an Ethernet cable, you need a crossover, a straight through cable and a PC. So you have to set the PCIP as what follows here and you need to follow, have to able to ping this IP. So this is related to the UMPT. So if you're able to ping, that means you are connected and you are using the web LMT. This is to open the web LMT on site. So this is logging into the web LMT. So this is the local IP address, the username and the default password. But this default password can be changed later because it's too long. So definitely it won't be, it will be very difficult to remember all the time. So when the first time login you use this, after the first time login, if you are required to change the password, then you can change to a much more simpler one. But remember to re, to to save it somewhere so that usually in this process, most of our engineers will forget it because there's a lot of base stations to follow up. So it has to be a password which is similar and which is will be easier to remember by everyone. So after login, you have to disable the DHCP function of the base station by setting this command and switch it to DS, disable, so that it doesn't interrupt the transport service. But upon the commissioning complete, you have to set it back to enable. And these are the components of the LMT main window. So basically, you have the user information who are connected. We have all the, the modules that is available in this platform, MML, alarm event, batch, trace, monitoring, device maintenance, and self-test. And this is the upper icon with the systems, password, FTP tool, and etc., and the help button. So this is the main window of the LMT. So it also shows this is using what type of base station with what technology. So Q&A time, true and false. The preparation for commissioning are important. Besides the software package, data configuration file and commissioning license are also necessary. So the answer is yes, this statement is true. The second one, to log in to the local LMT, connect one end of the transfer cable to the local PC and the other end to the USB port on the UMPT board. So the answer is yes. So the summary of this topic, LMT MAE based commissioning mode is that in here we have learned about the commissioning process, how to prepare for the commissioning and what are the local operations like logging into the LMT. That's all from me. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the session. Bye.